In this tutorial, I want to show how to create this kind of shape with randomized extrusions, extrusion mount, and randomized points where it extrusion occurs. So once you're done, you can change the extrusion seed, the amount of extrusion, and also what we can do is change the points, and also we can also change the amount of points that they are, they are extruding. And it's all based on the color of the actual polygon. So let's get started. Let's start with creating sphere. Put it to the polygons and maybe frequency at two. So we have a good amount of points. Primitives. Now let's put down the attribute wrangler. In attribute wrangler, we're gonna create a simple if expression. So if in co in parentheses Let's create add primnum. I'm gonna write it down and I'm gonna explain it so it's bigger than n primitives. And you know we need to also in parentheses zero. And let's delete and divide it by two. So if this is true, what's going to happen is we're gonna color our polygons at CD equals set. And for red, we just want one in our red and zero in about other channels. Now in the other one, so if that's not true, we're gonna color them green. So basically the same thing. I'm just going to copy this and put it to the one and zero like that. So now. And also remember to run over the primitives. What we have done with this if expression is we have asked if prim number. So when we use usual visualize primitive numbers, you can see every one of these has its own number, unique number. So if it's bigger than n primitives, so n primitives, what it is, is basically overall amount, overall point, overall primitive count. So in here we see that we have 179 primitives and we are dividing it by 2 so that means add prim number is basically 50% we are marking 50% of this polygon thread and another one in green so if you change it to the otherwise it's going to inverse the color so basically the num with dividing 2 that means 50% so what we can do is we can create a channel which is going to be let's create a float channel with f in a back in end in the quotation my channel like that and press on this which creates per parameter so what's going to do is create this parameter we do not have to change that manually in the code we can just slide this around and if you go back to two we are getting basically the same thing but let's say you want to increase so when we increase we are getting more greens and the other way we are getting more reds so now what we want to do is randomize the points because now they are very one sided what you can do with the sort node with the sort node there is the option for primitive sh short we can put it to the random and now we are actually randomizing randomizing the primitive placement number placement like that and now we can also change it to two and we can also change the amount of reds in here like that also if you want more better scalar so what you can do in edit parameter interface you can just find your my channel and you can see the range so let's say you want range from 0 to 5 so like that so put on two and you can easily change it for more or less now let's extrude only the red parts what we'll do is put down the extrude node and in a group what i'm going to do is point at at cd and with the dot operation i'm going to point at only the red channel so you can either say r or you can xyz 
let's say r equals uh, 1 that's it so now you can see we're ex only extruding the values that have red where red is all 1 so you can either r or x is going to be the same let's make it also individual elements like that for us to randomly extrude every one of these faces with a random amount of distance we have to do a very common workflow in Houdini which is for each loops so if you put down a 4 you can see we can iterate over for each primitive point number name piece is connected piece so what I want to do is since we are extruding primitives put down a primitive and we want to extrude this so what we want to include inside this block of looping extrude node so just put in here and at the end like that so nothing has changed for now but if you go to the for each and put down a single pass you can see that it's actually iterating over every single primitive of this object that we have included inside our for each loop so let's turn this off you can see it actually pieces there's actually says that how many pieces there is 179 and it's true enough if you go to the before we input it into the primitive uh, geometry spreadsheet you can see that we have 179 primitives for us to randomly extrude these faces what you have to do is put down a create met import node and this node we want to in this node it's great that it's a latitude for iteration 179 which is the amount of primitives that we have in this one in this object and all you have to do is just go to the ex pull extrude in our distance mode we have to reference it so what you have to do is put down detail you can see it actually gives it tooltips so we have to put down an, where the node is located the attribute that we want to reference and also the data type so since it's a single float you just have to put zero but if it's different data type it could be a different syntax for it so but since it's just a number you can just put down single float and with zero and that's all so now let's reference the let's reference the node which is for each I'm gonna give you option even with quotes let's reference the the attribute detail attribute which is iteration and then end it with the data type which is single float which is just a zero and and the with parentheses and that's it Oh, the E is actually it's weird so iteration like that. So you can see, like now, it has actually iterated to the maximum of 179. It is randomized, but the maximum is 179, which is not what you want. What you can do is just wrap this whole thing into a rand, which what the rand is going to be with a random value between the my bad random value between the 0 and 1 so take a look at this we have 0 62 so so it never reaches 0 and never reaches 1 so we have localized over to the 1 and for us to change it first to make it extrusion bigger or smaller what we can do is create channels to, for us to reference it what you can do is it in a parameter interface what you can do is just create a couple of, let's create a couple of float channels maybe two one S for the new parameter one and two you can change the name but i'm gonna leave it for the for now the default ones now all we have to do is reference these to you our new parameters inside our distance window so what i'm going to do for us to randomize the 1 to 0 to 1 scale inside our random node what we have to do is multiply by one of these channels so it just basically a, it's gonna give us a random outcome every time the numbers actually doesn't really matter we just want to introduce a random number so that it's going to multiply it but multiply but 
at the end of the day with a random node it's going to give us 0 to 1 value so it just will give us a randomness so I'm gonna I'm just going to now reference the let's new parameter 2 like that like now see now new parameter is this one you can see if we scroll around it you can see we're getting every time randomized and for us to get more than just a 0 to 1 scale for our extrude all we have to do is outside the parentheses we can multiply by our second channel so our second channel is just a new parameter oh that's the wrong one like that and basically it's right now it's zero but if you so one is one that's the one we had but we can just go more and or less on our extrusion and then we can randomize with this obviously we can just label the the randomization and the extrusion amount in here these news for the label the first one is going to be a randomizer and then one is going to be extrusion like that so if you come back you can see easily and what's great about this you can go back to the sort we can randomize our points or we can randomize the amount of the extrusion that we have that's it for this tutorial i'm going to create more tutorials with wax in it so stay tuned subscribe if you like this kind of tutorials and see you next time